Here we're looking at another tree in the Betulaceae family. It's in the genus Betulus, and the specific epithet is Lenta. So Betula Lenta, this is sweet birch. Let's take a closer look at it. The bark of sweet birch is usually smooth with prominent lenticels or these lenticel ridges when it's young to sort of mid-aged. As it develops and ages, the bark will start to crack and develop stiff plates. You can start to see that just around this old branch uh, collar area and they'll break into almost like black cherry. So the bark between this and black cherry can look somewhat similar. The twig of sweet birch has alternately arranged buds, twigs, and leaves. And the coloring is this sort of brown metallic color. Like most birches, we see the catkins preform. These are just starting to form, so they're fairly small yet. They'll get larger than this. And these are the male flowers that will produce pollen the following year. The terminal bud is pointed. Here again, it looks green, but that will change into more of a brown color as we move into the fall. This is another scratch and sniff twig. If you scratch sweet birch, or chew on sweet birch, you'll get a very wintergreen or spearmint uh, flavor. Uh, so you can see people sort of walking around chewing on these where they're abundant. Very pleasant flavor if you like spearmint, and it's definitely got a strong scent to it. Here are the female cones that are just starting. That Once they're fully formed and developed, they'll turn brown and open up. And you can see that the cones sit more or less upright on the branch and those, when they open up, will have tiny little seeds that can be dispersed via the wind. The leaves on this particular uh, sweet birch are a little rounder than I would typically see. Usually they'd be maybe a bit more like this leaf here, narrower. These all seem to be a little bit more rounded, but they do have a toothed margin, uh, which is fairly typical of birches.